Hello, welcome to the video series on project planning and controlling with Microsoft Project. My name is Jacques Alexis, I'm a faculty here in the leadership and project management domain in CPS. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to format your schedule items in Microsoft Project to build what you call a hierarchy uh, for your project. Uh, if you take a look at my screen here, you can see that I have a list of items uh, in the software. Now, this is called the uh, Gantt view uh, in Microsoft Project with the entry table, right? So um, I start with my project. So I can see here in ID item one, is my project, that's the project. A few students, for example, working on a case, the name of your project or the name of your case would be, um, as you can see here, item one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to build a hierarchy so to organize the work. Now, everything uh, that I do in the project, obviously, will be uh, under the project. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the indent feature in the software to do it. Now it is in the schedule group. So what I do, I'm going to select all items here under the project. Uh, I select everything under the project except the project. I did not select the project. And I'm going to use the indent feature to um, indent all these items under the name of my project, concentrating uh, solar power plant. Now, um, as you can see here, if you use the collapse uh, button, you can actually, uh, it's a way to check whether you've done it properly. So you to have the name of the project here. So uh, the other thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take all the initiating activities and I'm going to indent under project initiation. So here you go. Now as you can see here, project initiation is a project management deliverable. And the activities uh, are these. Um, they start with a verb. This is not an activity per se, this is a milestone. I know that because of the nomenclature, but we're going to talk about that in a, in a different video. So uh, this is already under the project, so I'm go not going to do anything with that. Uh, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, I'm not going to put high level planning on their project initiations. I'm going to assume that I'm going to um, have a little bit more detailed planning later. So um, I'm going to take the, these three items here um, and I'm going to indent uh, and look at this. I do four, four, this four and these four and these financing. Right. Those are uh, financing um, deliverable, fi uh, financing and contract deliverable, payment applications, etc. That's where I'm going to do that. Okay, detailed design. These are going to be under detailed design. Now, uh, construction is a bit tricky here. So let's say I put every all these items here and the construction. I say that's going to be construction. Here we go. Uh, now, what I will do, I will take site, on-site mobilizations, I'm going to indent that on the site preparation, right? And all these activities will go on the on-site mobilization. You can, you have to click it twice. There we go, right? So I know, for example, Access world and uh, from access world to office space will be under site preparation. So I'm going to invent that again. But here we go. So that's a perfect example of, um, of a hierarchy. So, so you can see here I have a phase, which is construction, site preparation, 
that's a deliverable, a sub-deliverable. And here I have activities uh, and um, or their deliverables. I can see activities and their deliverables are, uh, they never are uh, at the same level. So you can see that. Now, this is not a double yes. Uh, it, I do have double BBS items here, but what, what I have here is my schedule. I have double DBS items and also activities. In other words, part of my scope and schedule management I have here. So I do have some monitoring and controlling activities here. I'm going to uh, uh, indent on the monitoring and controlling. And I have some closing um, items, activities and items. So custom access, that's a milestone. Uh, obviously. So, and I have uh, all this under project project closing. So, practically, what I've done, I format and organize my work. So, I understand what are the summary items and what are the sub items. So, the endant feature in the software allows you to, to do that. And it's a beautiful way to organize um, your work. Well, so that's going to be all for this uh, video. Uh, thanks for watching uh, and wait for um, or watch for the next video on project planning and controlling with uh, Microsoft Project. Thank you.